So we're going to get started building apps with a look at our app builders. We've got three app builders, Web App Builder, Experience Builder, and App Studio. And all of these allow you to get started building your application with little or no code. However, if you're a developer, you can always dig deeper to the depth that you need to build the solution that you want. Web App Builder has been out for a number of years, and it is incredibly, incredibly popular. Over 700,000 applications have been built and shared publicly on ArcGIS Online alone. It's an incredibly popular technology. But Experience Builder is, if you like, the next generation of Web App Builder. It allows you to build applications, but it really shines because it allows you to build complete experiences. And for native application development, we've got App Studio. So let's take a look at Experience Builder. It's easy to get started using one of the templates. These templates are data-driven. They're extremely flexible. You can customize them for different experiences if you're on mobile devices or the desktop browsers. And it's modern. It's built with React and Redux. And of course, it's built using our latest JavaScript API. So to let us have a look at the new experience builder, I'd like to introduce Jin Sha from the team. And she's going to give us a demo. Thank you, Yuan. ArcGIS Experience Builder is built on version 4 of ArcGIS API for JavaScript. It empowers you to transform your data into compelling web experiences. Let's see how. We start with a template to quickly build apps with nice features, like an integrated 2D and 3D map, then modify the layout and the look and feel of the app. At any point in the process, we can test the app through the live view, showing places to go in San Diego. Apps built with Experience Builder run on a variety of devices. We can even optimize the mobile experience. For example, here, I'm going to remove the toolbar using the pending button. So on the light view, there is no toolbar. But on the desktop, the toolbar is available to us. Experience Builder is not only about building web apps, but also web experiences that include pages and other components such as text, image, map, survey, and a dashboard. On the canvas, add a map showing earthquake information in the last 30 days in the area. The list widget starts with a template, then connects to the layer on the map. Dynamically bind the image to a field of the layer with image URLs. Bind text to fields with earthquake magnitude in the place where it happens. Action triggers make widgets to talk to each other. So we add a trigger to make map pan to selected feature on the list. We can also easily align the widget to the full width of the page. Now add feature info to display detailed information about a specific earthquake on the same layer. And a survey with an existing form from survey one, two, three. Lastly, we are going to add a menu to connect this page to the app we just built previously. Now back to the live view, when we click in Earthquake on the map, its location on the map and the detailed information display interactively. Now we are ready to provide our feedback. If we 
spend a little more time, we could create a complete web experience like this one. Not only do we have maps, but also several other pages showing the areas of interest in the city. Switch to the mobile size. It looks great on a mobile device, right? Many of you have been using Web App Builder. With Experience Builder, you can do more. You can easily build templates and solutions and provide fully immersive experiences. Yuan, back to you. What a great demonstration, Jin Chia. <laughs> so I said that Experience Builder is the next generation of Web App Builder. So what about Web App Builder? Well, the good news is we have no plans to replace the Web App Builder online edition. That's going to allow you to transition to Experience Builder in your own time. In terms of Web App Builder on the enterprise, it's tied to the lifecycle of ArcGIS Enterprise. And Web App Builder, the developer edition, is tied to the lifecycle of the JavaScript 3 API. So that was building for web apps.